Hello, this is Wonder from Wonder.tv, and today I'm going to be unboxing a honeycomb yoke. That's right, honeycomb alpha flight controls yoke. Got this on the X Plane store. It is currently in stock. I, I know. It, as of this recording, it is currently in stock. I, I guess a lot of people don't know about the X Plane store, but you can get one today, $250. So go over there. I'll put the link in the show description. I'm not getting paid for that or anything like that, but uh, yeah. So comes in a very nice box, has an outer box covering, and uh, that thing just slides right off. Very neat packaging, very hefty device. I know when I brought it in the house, I was like, whoa, kinda kind of heavy there. So uh, I guess that's a good sign of, of good, uh, good quality, uh, good quality parts. Cause my, my Hotas, my Thrustmaster Warthog weighs a billion pounds. It seems so it's got the standard book stuff in there. We're going to be looking at that later. Uh, this stupid top wouldn't stay down. <laughs> I had to hold it with my hand and we've got the mounting plate and some other stuff to take out. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out like how, what, what am I going to do with this stupid thing? It keeps going back and forth. Uh, I am using my new Elgato ring light too, so hopefully the lighting's a little bit better. Here's the USB cable, and uh, this thing, I didn't know what it was when I unboxed it, but this connects the yoke to the base. It's uh, very similar, to, I, I think it's similar to what my Logitech G27 has, I think it has something like that. There's the mounting plate, two different ways to mount. It has a suction cup thing on the bottom, and also it has clamps that goes in that front part there. And uh, yeah, yeah. I'm actually having issues right now with my desk setup. I'm trying to figure out the best way to rearrange my peripherals because this thing is pretty long. And it's, it's yeah, the, the length of it in terms of, I guess I guess you could say depth of it. The depth of it was deceiving. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Um, and uh, it has changed my peripheral footprint on my desk quite a bit. So I'm having to rearrange and rethink some things. It definitely takes up more room than my wheel does. My Logitech G27 that I use for Euro Truck Simulator and for uh, American Truck Simulator. It, it takes up some space, boy. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna be figuring that out. But it weighs it, it weighs a good amount. It, it you know, I, I lifted it and I, I grunted a few times. You don't hear the sound here, but I was uh, 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 making the noises. Definitely making the noises. So inside the box, uh, you can't see it on the camera, but the clamps were securely inside of there. These are some nice heavy duty clamps. You can tell these guys are not cheap. Uh, they are thick, they are sturdy. Uh, that is a nice, uh, nice screw threading there. And they are, they are solid. These are not gonna break anytime soon. You're gonna have to run these over with a tractor to, 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 to break these. So I was really impressed with these. They were really, 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 really good quality clamps. So don't have to worry about those being an issue. Okay. so. Growing through the bag, uh, I didn't want to grab this thing by the front of the yoke because I didn't want to snap that little that little shaft there. That seems like a fragile thing. And uh, I, I grabbed it by the base to the best of my ability and uh, pulling the, uh, the pl last bit of plastic off. And it's got a really nice soft finish. I gotta say, my first impressions were it's, it's very nice looking. Um, I don't want to get any fingerprints or dirt on this. It looks really good really really good high quality build um and i haven't used it yet so i can't really talk to impressions of how it works in microsoft light sim or x-plane which are the two sims i'm going to be using it in uh but yeah it's got the uh it's got the switches for aviation and for battery right or was that alternator can't hardly read that or master alternator and battery there it is and uh you got your light switches on the left side as well on the right side you've got your starters and uh and various buttons to set and on the back um you've got the usb connector on the left there and an led okay so it comes with a little packet little book little instructions as most things do and some probably some marketing material in here I mean, I kind of anticipated, hey, here's some upsell material. You've gotten this thing, buy this. These are little nubs. I think they go on the bottom to, to hold it in place. I really haven't looked at these in detail. I don't know what they do yet, uh, but I think they, they connect on the bottom so they can hold it in place. I might have to look at that when mounting this because it sticks out so much. And you got your standard instruction book, what's included. 
really easy pictures to show step one, step two, step three, step four, how you want to mount this. Do you want to use the mounting clamps or use the suction cup? Uh, step two, connect the, the yoke. Step three, blah, blah, blah. And then just play your game. Pretty much all it comes down to. Yep. And uh, we've got our upsell packet with Aerosoft. <laughs> Prepare 3D V4. Uh, X-Plane. And uh, some Aerofly sceneries and stuff. So some upsell material, marketing stuff, and books. Yeah. So at this point, I think I'm contemplating like what, what to do next. Should I install this? Should I, <laughs> should I do it now? Because this I actually unboxed this yesterday, and this this is the next day where I'm actually commentating over the video. And I, I wasn't sure what if I want to. To, to actually use it but I did want to see how long this cable was because I want to see if it was like three feet or more because that can be a pain sometimes with these peripherals and it looks like it's acceptable yeah it looks like about three feet um, because they, they come with these tiny cables and like man what how you expect me to to use this without buying an extension cable so three feet minimum got to be at least three feet that looks about three feet and uh, just tied it back up after verifying verifying that uh, that it looks the way it does and again i didn't know what this was i was like i don't know what this uh, this was until i read the instructions later that it connects to it connects the yoke to the the box there yeah there you go this is one from one.tv hope you enjoyed it